What up, family? Welcome to your cards for the week. I am La Santera, bringing you your Santera spread for Monday, February 17th until Sunday, February 23rd, 2020. We are using a new tarot deck. It's my Afro-Brazilian tarot. And let's get into it, y'all. Your first message comes from the Knight of Pentacles. Ready? This week, this is your message for Monday and Tuesday, today and tomorrow. You are determined, right? Look at this image. Look at this card. You see the knight at battle taking its victim out with a determination, steadfast, focused, knowing that you have the Cap the ability, the capabilities, the gifts. You are on the defensive because you are hungry. You are determined. You are working hard. You are moving toward it. You are finishing whatever you start. Your eyes on the prize. So today and tomorrow, today is all about planning. Planning should happen on Sundays for the week, but that's okay. You are sitting at your desk. You are sitting on the train. You are sitting in the car. Wherever you are and you are taking notes, you are saying, this is what I... This is what I'm committed to doing. These are the goals that I have for this week. I'm going to work on one thing toward moving, towards moving towards the thing I want, the dream that I want. Because you know that the Knight, um, the Knight of Pentacles is saying, you're winning. You're winning. You've been working hard and you have to continue to work hard. Nothing is just going to fall on your fall in your lap without a fight. You know, I've been, I was feeling, last week was a really hard week for me. Um, February has been kicking my ass um, spiritually, right? Um, and so we are in a battle, whatever that is, whether it's our health, whether it's career-wise, whether it's family, there is something. And so we are required to keep our eye on the prize, to be focused right? All right. That's Monday, Tuesday. Let's get it. Your Wednesday, Thursday is the seven of pentacles, family. Seven of pentacles. Ahí lo tiene. Seven of Pentacles. I love that the I love the image, right, of being out in the trees and being rooted, being rooted in something, being grounded in something, being focused on something. You know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, Seven of Pentacles brings messages about things coming to fruition. We've planted the seeds, we are firmly grounded, and now we are reaping. You know, spring is approaching. Everything that you've been working on from September to now Right now is the time to apply for those grants, to apply for those residencies, to apply for those fellowships, to apply for those courses, those classes that are connected to the thing you want, whether it's spiritual, whether it's creative, whatever it is, whether it's health, maybe it's the 200 hours of yoga, maybe it's a meditation class, maybe it's starting a new practice, whatever it is, you are, it's paying off. Whatever it is you're doing, it's paying off. And you are going to see um, the blessings. This is a good week. This is a wonderful week. We're getting incredible, incredible messages of what we've been. This is the time of the harvest for us, right? So as we were in the middle of February, kicked our ass in terms of the Santera scopes. But now as we're focus on, focusing on the week, we get to shift, 
right? We get to shift the message that we, we received in our scopes to get more in alignment with what it is that we want to des- what we want what we desire. What is what is it that you're working on? Are you working on a novel? Are you trying to find an agent? This is the time. This is the time to put yourself out there, to pitch the queries, to send the uh, to send the um uh, the book idea to to pitch editors to to write essays, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you are desiring, you are committed to your craft. You are honing your gifts because if you are working every day, every day, this isn't once a week, every day, you will see the payoff. Word. Because my dears... We close with this week, Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Maya. The Queen of Chalices in this deck. Maya. The Queen of Cups. The Queen represents a mature woman, right? A feminine, the feminine, divine feminine, and so this this week we are being incredibly kind. We are sensitive. We are serving, but we are you're you're secure. So this is either you, um, feminine qualities that you possess, or someone in your life possesses this. You know, and they're they're someone who is incredibly intuitive. So this is either you or for, or someone you know, right? So connect the two. This is someone who's incredibly intuitive. You're paying attention. You're listening. You're listening to your egun. You are manifesting your dreams. You are taking the time to take care of yourself, to learn, to study. You are super supportive. You're a good mother, right? So all of that to say that Yemaya is helping you and guiding you. All of that, Maferefunya Maya, todos los días. Maferefunya Maya, Yemaya is here to say, My child, I have you. I have always had you. I have always been guiding you. Any moment that you're feeling afraid, that you're feeling like you should give up, know that I have you, that my waters will soothe you, that I will protect you. Trust me, jot down the dreams that I'm giving you. I'm sending you messages. Your Igun are sending you messages. Listen to me. She she will never fail you. Yeah, my Yah will never fail you. The Queen of Cups got you. Family, that is your reading for the week. Let's go. Go do. Make it happen. I'm sending you so much love. Everything that I wish for me, I wish for you. And I will see you next week. Leave comments, like, subscribe, share this with everyone you know and love. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube so I can record on my phone. YouTube is playing with my emotions. Anyway, family, if you'd like a reading, you know how to hit me up. Peace.